It has been a week since the Florida Surgeon General issued a emergency restriction against Gulf Breeze Surgeon Ben Brown's medical license. Brown is accused of malpractice and disregard for his patients, including his wife Hillary. She died less than a week after a procedure at Brown's office in November. The Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office still investigating her death, and today we're hearing from her father, Marty Ellington, for the first time. And Tanner Stewart joins us. Now, Tanner, you spoke with Ellington today on his family's efforts to ensure that others are not put in a similar situation. I did, so Marty Ellington says his daughter's relationship with Dr. Ben Brown lasted only a few short years. He says the recent report from the Department of Health is a step in the right direction, but he wants more closure. Until you walk those shoes, it's, it's a hollowness, it's a pain that you can't fix. It doesn't go away. Marty Ellington says his daughter, Hillary Brown, was married to Dr. Ben Brown for less than two years. I'm told the couple didn't know each other long before their marriage. Ellington says the relationship seemed normal at first. He met her with open arms. He, he was, uh, uh, seemed to just care a lot about the kids. Uh, and so we thought that by that, that she was in good hands. After a short while, Ellington says he and his wife began to raise suspicion about the couple's stability. The hostility around there, I mean, it was just constant yelling, cussing, uh, you know, it was just a real volatile type situation. It wasn't until Hillary's death in November of last year when Ellington says the pain for his family hit the hardest. This 30 page report from the Florida Surgeon General finds Dr. Ben Brown didn't correctly log his wife's medication, performed haphazardly during her operation, and failed to alert EMS in a timely fashion. Hillary was on life support for seven days after having a seizure and going unconscious. She would remain that way until she died. When we got to the ICU and walked in, it was the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, that's my daughter laying there lifeless. Uh, tubes, wires everywhere. Her eyes partially open, just in a in a blazed stare. This is this is my daughter, Tanner. This is all I got to remember by. While on life support, Marty Ellington says family was gathered around her the week leading up to her death, along with her husband. Ellington says he was shocked to hear very little from the surgeon and son-in-law who'd last operated on his daughter. I gave him all the opportunity for for seven days. I sit in a hospital room, watch my daughter die. You know, I watch her brain swell. I watch her take her last breath. And and the and we're sitting in the same room together. There was a lot of conversation there, a lot of opportunity to come clean and just say, I screwed up. You know, I never got that. Ellington got more answers this month after the state released its findings. In the report, disturbing claims go beyond Brown's actions. It states Hillary took a handful of pills before receiving additional anesthesia from Dr. Brown. It also states Hillary performed procedures she wasn't licensed for. Marty Ellington acknowledged his daughter may have taken too much medication, but says the responsibility lies with Dr. Brown. With her taking a handful of pills, I mean, we have to put something in a story, and it sounds good, but... Um, she wouldn't be taking anything that would harm her. If anything, she was taking a pre-surgical cocktail maybe that, that, sh that she was programmed to give everybody. Uh, that's my take on it. Whether it's true or not, nobody knows. Whether she had the, uh, um, the authority to uh, by the state or what, uh, I don't really think that played into it. It should have. She should have realized that, you know, my limit is here, right or wrong, uh, she was following what she was told to do. This week, the family of Dr. Ben Brown issued a statement saying these accusations are inaccurate and misleading. They say Brown looks forward to defending himself in the case. The Ellington family is now working with state legislators to develop Hillary's law. It would prohibit physicians from operating on their own families to avoid any emotional decisions that could be made during procedures. Representatives Michelle Salzman and Alex Andrade both tell me they're working with agencies to implement better laws for situations like this. You can read their statements as well as Ben Brown's family's full statement on our website.